Welcome, Ben Runner. Hello, everybody. Uh, Kieran, A.K. the Laird here. And I have a very, 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 very exciting video for you this week that uh, I've been absolutely chomping at the bit to show you. And uh, it's something I'm incredibly proud of because uh, I'm sure you've already noticed in the first few seconds of the video that we're not just looking at a book. We are looking at a book by me, my name right there on the cover. And uh, although I've um, done lots of books before, this is the first book I've done that is just me. Um, I've done lots of books that I've co-written with other people um, where I've been a contributor and I've been working for them or the publisher. Um, for example, you know, I did the uh, the Commodore Amiga in Pixels, um, Let's Go Dizzy, Story of the Oliver Twins, Homebrew Heroes, um, the Snares Compendiums I looked at fairly recently says, so there's been lots anyway that I've I've either contributed to or been a uh, contributing author on. So, but this is the first one I've done on my own, just me, just my name, and um, through my uh, existing publisher, who I already do all my uh, digital books through Andrews UK. So it is through them. So mainly they do digital books. That's what they specialise in, but they do where they feel there is a demand, um, produce print books as well. And so that's what we have here. So the Compendium of ZX Spectrum Games Volume 1. And just to explain a little bit more on the uh, background of um, of what this is, I will show some images on the screen as, um, as I explain as well, um, just as a little reminder. But I've already done um, well over 30 now um, digital books my A to Z series, so you know, in this case, A to Z or ZX Spectrum would be the most appropriate one. And uh, what I've done with those is, is I've done three volumes, and the plan was always, um, as long as they were successful, that I would do three volumes and then turn those three volumes into a print book, um, which is what you see here, but it's actually a little bit more than that. So the print book contains all three volumes that I've done so far of the um, of um, the ATZ of Zedic Spectrum games. Plus it has an additional game for each letter of the alphabet. Now the digital books have three games for each letter of the alphabet. Um, a lot of people say, oh, why are they A to Z? It's because they, they're all titled volumes. So you're not in any, under, in any illusion that they are a single book. And um, because they're being aimed at uh, quite a low price point um, because people don't like spending a lot on Kindle books. So they are generally £1.99. Um, but you still get a, a lot of content, especially compared to rival books, actually, for three ninety nine uh, for one ninety nine. I feel. So, you know, you get, um, I think it's about 300 pages or close to, even in that in that digital book, something like that. And, yeah, three, three games reviewed for each letter of the alphabet in each of those digital books. So a quick bit of maths will tell you that once you put those three digital books together, that gives you nine games for each letter of the alphabet. And uh, nine isn't a nice round number. I've got OCD, but uh, but I'm sure um, most people can relate to that. Nine isn't a, a, um, a round number. Ten is. Ten sounds much better. And so there is a 26 bonus reviews to make it up to 10 games per letter in this book. And to show that it still isn't complete, it obviously that's why I've got volume one, because I've already got a second one planned out. So I've got three more digital books planned out for the ZX Spectrum, which will again be followed by another print book. Because the uh, so far, the digital books have been very successful and the initial... Um, reception to this print book has been amazingly positive and uh, yeah it's already selling incredibly well on Amazon so I'm very happy about that and it's taken me a little while to look at it because uh, I was waiting for my versions to come in the post I have to order them like everyone else does and also I was planning it in to do as a Wednesday video so I've, I've had these um, since the end of last week actually uh, but there we go so let's get down to it so that you can see there are two versions so we've got the there the hardback edition, which is on that side, which says collector's edition in the corner. So that's a proper um, solid hardback book. 
as you can see um, all in full color um, I should add as well so that's the hardback book that is $16.99 as you can see here then there is the uh, the paperback book which you can see on the left hand side there so here we go the paperback and the paperback is a bargainous $9.99 so you know under £10 which I think is a great price point if you compare it to similar books like this which generally are in the well pretty much double that actually a lot of the ones that have come out have been in the 20 pound range that do that you know that, that do a similar thing so there's the two versions they are um for all intents and purposes identical um the content is exactly the same in each one the only difference is that cover so uh, the content is the same so i'm only going to show you one version i don't need to show you both um but i wanted to um to you know to go over what the difference in the additions are prices etc etc so let's have a look so let's grab one of these so i'll grab i'll grab the um the, the paperback literally because it's actually easier to to hold open um as i'm doing this video so you can see it um so another thing to add straight away is that although these are a compilation of the three digital books that i've already done the contents have been completely redesigned so you if you've bought any of the digital books you'll notice in this print book it looks totally 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 different i have also revised um some of the text there are a few odd, obviously odd little errors and stuff that i didn't notice when proofreading the original um digital books that i've picked up in this print edition so i fixed that there's odd little facts and bits of trivia and stuff that i've changed and fixed so the, the the text isn't exactly the same as it was in the digital books and all the images have been changed as well because in the kindle versions they were quite low quality because that's the, the demand of kindle and um, we have to use like quite low quality jpegs and um, i've used proper um you know like png images for the these print books so the imp the the, the, the the screenshots are different and and of much higher quality than they were in the others so we've got our contents at the start of course um so it lists every game in alphabetical order and what page they appear on the usual introduction that's been changed as well obviously for this book it's slightly different and then it goes into the, the games so you'll see that i've I, I love this um that the designer did so so great credit to the designer john there for this that he used you know the, the keys from the spectrum for each letter and uh and so yeah you'll, you'll see you know there's two games per page going through the alphabet each one has you know the the name of the game the publisher the release date and a score out of 10 and then obviously the review of what it's about so i'm not going to show you the whole book so i'm going to spoil it so i'll just flick through little bits of it so you'll see that already that i cover lots of well-known titles but i also cover lots of more obscure games too and um i i have also put in there are some prototypes a few prototype games that weren't um officially released but obviously are available to find on the internet and such now for download and i have put in some not not loads but i have put in some homebrew games as well um so they're in there as well and it's not you know like all the best games the spectrum or anything like that because you'll see there are games that i've given bad reviews for example eSWAT, which the spectrum version of is absolutely terrible so that's in there uh nice a nice little obscure game for you there etx by abex electronics which is actually a spectrum port of et from the 2600 and guru larry did a great video on that game so i highly recommend um you go and watch that if you haven't seen it so there we go i curry warriors and possum Jack the Nipper, Jack and the Beanstalk, horrible game. Jet Set Willy, so you'll see all the obvious ones, and Jetpack and Joe Blades, plenty of obvious ones there. Going to K, so Kaboom as well. That's that was a game that originated, I think, I think it's from the Czech Republic. So you know, obviously something that a lot of people won't even know is on the spectrum that it got a port of um, the twenty six hundred game Kaboom, albeit not official, obviously. Uh, LA Drugs Bust, obscure budget title from players. So anyhow, I'm always skipping to these ones actually rather than the, the double page spreads. But there we go. So Ninja Massacre, personal favourite of mine. Ninja Spirit, not a penny more, not a penny less. Nudge it. Again, seeing a bit of obscure, obscure stuff in there is mixed in with you know all the well-known games that you'll know and love. 
Ah, there we go, RoboCop, a game you'd expect to see in there, I'm, I'm guessing. Target Rene really and Tapper, so there we go. You can get a, a general idea of, um, of what this is all about, I think. Viking Raiders, a personal favourite of mine. So the reviews aren't just straight reviews, um, you know, of uh, of the games, you know, saying what I think of um, of the game. I have put in trivia, I have put in facts. I've also put in personal stories. So there, for example, Viking Raiders, I start off by telling a personal story about when I first played the game. So there's lots of those in there. So, you know, I, I have... It, it, it's a, it's a mix of different things, really. That is a review book. I think it's different to most review books in that, you know, it's not just re straight reviews of each game. It, you know, I have included my own personal memories um, of a lot of these games and, you know, as I say, different odd different facts and stuff that you might know to make it a bit more interesting. So why? That was one of the hardest letters to do. <laughs> just what we've got... Um, uh, a crappy old game like Yellow Submarine in there, but there we go. It it it's uh, a bit different. That I'm not covering the obvious stuff. I like the fact I'm not covering all the obvious stuff. So let's move to the end of the book and, and, and the letter Z. You can see it there. It's Houston's brilliant design apps and Zybex and all of that. And I just noticed actually that it was printed in Milton Keynes. How cool is that? That's actually really close to me. <laughs> I didn't realize it was printed so closely. Maybe that's why the books got to me so quickly. Um, so yes, yeah, so that's it really. I'll sort of show you the, the hardbacks you can see, but it is, you know, as I say, it is exactly the same. Um, there is no difference apart from struggling to fit it on camera because it's a slightly larger book. Um, only because of the cover, the, um, the actual pages aren't a different size or anything. So that's it really. Um, there's not a lot else to tell you. If you like the Spectrum, then you should really go out and, uh, and buy this. I can't really review the book as such because that would be incredibly biased of me because it's my book. But here we are. There's the Compendium of ZX Spectrum games. Um, they're out now. They're available to buy on Amazon. Um, there'll be a link under the video of, um, of where you can buy them. Now the book's falling down. And um, I suggest you go and pick one up. And if you don't like the Spectrum, then uh, keep an eye on my Amazon author page because I do have a, um, a Atari 2600 book coming up next which is actually pretty much done. I'm actually waiting for my copies to arrive so I can take a look at it. But that's um, so that should be out pretty much actually as this as this video um, comes out. That should be available to buy. And uh, there'll be more books, uh, print books following. I do have a Atari 8-bit book um, in the same guise coming soon as well. That'll be probably be the next one after the Atari 2600 book. There's going to be a Commodore 64 book that will be coming at some point as well. And um, I've also already kind of started putting together print books for the Sega Master System and the Atari ST. And there'll be lots and lots of other formats following at uh, different points in time. So as I get uh, as I get going, I mean, don't expect them all at once, but they will be on the way. And um, I thank everyone for their... Um, amazing support um, of these books. You know, they say they sold really well. The feedback's been great. And um, here's to many more. And uh, I'll see you all again for another video very soon. Um, thanks for watching. Go and buy my book. And I'll see you all again very soon. Bye bye.